Tom Hunter is a London-based artist. Hunter's images often have references to classical paintings and will often be based in his local community of Hackney, London. Because of this, his images reference local issues and could be seen to have a politically inspired message. Hunter's work is often displayed in galleries, however, it can also be found in museums, and he has published four books on his work. Hunter has earned many awards for his work throughout his life, and in 2006 was the first and only to have a solo photography show at the National Gallery in London for his series, Living in Hell and Other Stories. This first image is from his Traveler series, where he took pictures of his fellow travelers that were living in various types of vehicles as they traveled Europe, going to free parties and festivals. The intent behind these images was to change the perception of the travelers of being criminals or victims of society that the media was displaying through grainy and black and white images. Hunter's goal was to give these travelers humanity and dignity, and he does this with colors and allowing his subjects to be part of the artistic process. This ethically evaluative image uses the light entering the windows to give a sense of brightness in the home while maintaining a level of somberness. The symmetry in the windows and the use of vanishing points adds a sense of depth to the photo and gives the viewer a better understanding of the lifestyle the subjects are living. The next image is Death of Cotelli and was featured in Hunter's Unheralded Stories series. In this interpretive photo, Hunter captures a somber scene and uses a woman's hair and posture to provoke emotions from the viewer. While the color of the bed sheets provides a bright spot in the scene, the chapel-like interior of the room adds another element of the story being told in the image and adds to the grieving mood captured by the woman. This image here is also from the Unheralded Story series and is titled Hackney Cut. In this image, Hunter uses an angolus colors of green and yellow to really make the raft stand out and make this a powerful image. While the green growth on the water adds a sense of texture to the photo, it also brings up emotions of what it would be like to be the man that's swimming in the water. This interpretive photo seems to be making a political point and leaves it up to the viewer to decide exactly what is happening in the scene. This next image is from Hunter's Swan Songs and is titled Swan Song. In the Swan Songs photos, Hunter takes photos in Hackney and tries to reveal the way nature and the man-made environment combine and create a unique and mythical beauty. Specifically in the image Swan Song, you can see he is able to capture the beauty of the swan and use its color and lighting to create a mystical tone in the image. But then the backdrop of the buildings creates an unusual scene for a swan and sparks the curiosity of the viewer and causes them to further examine the Im image. This last photo is from Hunter's Axis Mundi series, which are photographs of ancient structures that Hunter grew up seeing in his community. In this aesthetically evaluative photo, Hunter uses a bullseye perspective to have the focus of the image be on the ancient structure. The bright skies behind it makes the structure pop even more and adds an unexpected depth to the photo.